Today I'm going to talk about our Sky Fibre broadband which we got installed quite recently. Just wanted to talk to you about um, how it is, how it's how it is to set up, what you get in the box and um, everything like that. Um, so as you can see it just there right next to our aging Sky Plus box um, as well as the actual Sky Hub, which is called the Sky Hub 2.0, um, you get obviously the power cable and the uh, ADSL cable, which they kindly provide a filter with, which is already plugged in. And also in the box, you also you get another micro filter, a spare one, just in case. And in, also you get a black ethernet cable uh, which you would might want to use to connect your um, Sky HD box to your to your hub or you could connect to your computer if it's um, quite nearby. Uh, this one's not particularly long by the looks of it so you probably get a longer one if um, if necessary but um, it's probably just as easy just to use Wi-Fi anyway um, the range of this um, this hub seems to be pretty good in comparison to the old one which Sky offered which uh, we used to have up until quite recently and that's this thing here um, and l luckily you can actually send this back to Sky and they will recycle it for you which is a good thing so I'm just going to have a look at the front of the hub uh, the lights that are displayed are from the top, the power light, the internet, uh, WPS, I haven't actually, not really sure what that is at the moment, I probably should look into it, it's probably not really anything that um, is relevant to most people. Uh, you've got the wireless indicator and if you have plugged your hub into your Sky Plus HD box, that the bottom light will light up as well. Uh, on the back, I can't really take it out that far because um, this square cable is not long enough. Well, f not for me anyway. Um, you've got the four Ethernet ports there um, and a reset button. That's pretty much um, all that uh, there is on there. And here it is plugged into the wall just in case you wanted to see that. Um, and that's the filter that they provided. Uh, so one output is the, the the hub and the other is any other device. In our case we've got our telephone and our skybox plugged into it. We our package is actually the Sky Fiber Unlimited, which is up to up to 38 megabits. Uh, on, I actually installed this um, hub on the day that uh, Sky advised, which they they kindly put a sticker on the box with the date that you're supposed to plug it in, which I did. Um, it did work straight away, but I didn't get the uh, full speed initially. It sort of um, went up and down. I assume they were just trying to find out what the best... Uh, speed was for where we are. Um, so it took uh, about 24 hours for the the actual speed to stabilise and now we can get um, usually around 36 mega, megabits per second. So just to show you that, uh, that we, we can get that speed, I've got this speed test app on my iPhone um, bearing in mind that I'm only about six inches away from the the hub, um, even if I go upstairs, it still seems to be the same. So the as I said before, the the wireless range is pretty good. Um, I've even been outside and still got uh, full signal. Uh, so I'm just going to try that now. See what how it comes out.
so 36.92 download which is about two off what they or oh, sorry not all, just over one less than uh, they advertise and upload of 9.45 which is just under the 10 which you're supposed to get so I'm pretty happy with that bearing in mind that before we had the regular sky broadband and we only got about one one to two download if we were lucky um, so this is a definite noticeable improvement and it only cost uh, an extra £2.50 a month which was uh, pretty good um, so for the first six months you pay £10 and after that it's £20 a month which I still think is uh, not too bad um, they, they probably will possibly decrease the price anyway um, particularly if some newer faster technology or way of getting the internet comes out that's what, which is what normally happens uh, we could have gone for the 78 uh, megabit per second connection but uh, for our needs I mean it's just the, the two of us so it's absolutely fine this is the Skyhub um, router home page um, in order to access this you need to type in the IP address of your router which in most cases will be this if I can focus it 192.168.0.1 um, down here you can see all the basic details about uh, the, the broadband and the wireless network um, but what I wanted to show you in particular was this wireless channel 6 which I've set manually and the reason for that is you should well you should always set it to either 6, 11 or 1 in order to get the most or to get the least interference with other other routers so for me I've manually set it to 6 and my ones at the top here out of all of the ones that are uh, sort of within this area um, and that means that I don't get much interference because the next one down that's 6 only has an average signal quality of just under 35 there so I'm not going to be interfering with their Wi-Fi and vice versa and the nearby Wi-Fi uh, routers um, or access points have completely different channels to mine so they won't be interfering at all um, this uh, program is called a Wi-Fi Info View, which is free to download, and it uh, is quite useful to allow you to make the decision as to what channel to to choose. Uh, so you can go into your Sky um, Hub uh, homepage and ch uh, manually change the channel to whatever you think is best, or you can just leave it on auto. Uh, but I found that uh, just changing it to channel six has been fine so far because uh, it's always best to be on a different channel to the uh, access points that are nearest you in order to minimize uh, interference um, so that's that's about all I wanted to say on this video uh, but overall I'm very happy with the um, Sky uh, broadband so far um, haven't had any dropouts yet but it's only been a couple of weeks that I've had it um, so I, if you I mean I would definitely recommend it if you have normal sky broadband because the difference in price is pretty minimal um, particularly if you um, like to watch YouTube videos and things like that you will notice that you can you don't really have to wait any time at all to watch HD videos which uh, and even if other people are watching HD videos as well it's still not a problem um, I also like to watch iPlayer now and then and it's just instantly goes in and you probably find that uh, iPlayer is the, the bottleneck rather than your own connection so that's um, 
something for them to sort out probably. Uh, anyway, so um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, see you next time.